Hey guys, so I wanted to make a video to kind of throw in the front of this video that I just kind of made. Does that make any sense? Probably to some of you creators out there, it will make perfect sense. Um, I wanted to start out by talking about a recent change here on my channel. And uh, that is the name change. I made a new in intro video for my channel and uploaded it early this morning. I made it yesterday and uploaded it early this morning. Um, and in there, I talk about a possible name change for the channel, but what I ended up doing was changing it today. So the channel is now called Southern Zen. And the reason I changed it to that is for one, I am a Southern kind of guy. You're going to see me, uh, doing vlogs here in Tennessee. I'm hanging around in Clarksville. I'm in Clarksville right now. Uh, Springfield, Nashville, Cookville, that kind of area. I'm around in Tennessee. Uh, I will be going to Georgia uh, May the 5th for a karate tournament down there. So, Upcoming things that are about to happen. But yeah, the, the, there is a new channel name and it's called Southern Zen. So uh, help me out. Help me promote the channel, guys, by... Um, spreading it around on your Facebook, your Twitter feed, you know, share it around and help me get a few more subscribers. I'm still way low on subscribers. I need help getting some more subscribers. So, uh, share my videos, the ones that you like, I would really appreciate it. All right. So the rest of this video, we're going to talk about this guy. All right. See ya up here in Clark's Vegas and in the car i'm not ubering or lifting i used to do videos in the car like this when i was ubering and lifting but i thought i'd do a vlog today and uh, in case you just are really really uh watching my videos pretty close you might have noticed that the same color shirt that i had on in my last video this is the next day yes i did i am wearing that same shirt two days in a row yes i did sleep in it I do that sometimes. Get over it. That's all I can say. <laughs> Normally, I try not to let you guys see that. Like, I'll I'll start to shoot a video and I'll realize, oh, I've got the same shirt on as I had in my last video. So I'll go change before I make the video. But uh, I didn't do that today because I'm already up in Clarksville. Uh, but I want to... Uh, credit this video i want to give a shout out to my buddy jason s who uh was talking to me about this subject and got me a little looking into it uh and what i want to talk about uh today in the vlog is the difference between the two buddhas that you see in the statues all over the world um I got one with me here that I carry in my pocket sometimes, kind of like a t little totem, just because I like it. I've had it, I've owned this little deal for years, and I've got, I think, one or two more about the same size with him in different poses. One of them's white, one, the other one's the same color. This is, this is a little Buddha. And I, I know you can't see that very well. I'll try to get you a better shot of it here in a little bit. All right, so there's a pretty good, whoop, I had it. Quit peeking around, let it focus on this. There's a pretty good shot of the little Buddha. He is pocket size for sure, right? You can see he's got a little sack there that he carries around his back. And he's got a begging bowl in his hand there. So he's just kind of a little good luck charm I kind of carry around with me sometimes. A little totem. Uh, but yeah, a friend of mine, uh, on Facebook yesterday, Jason S, uh, we're discussing Buddha and I had made a graphic with, uh, with this guy, actually, I took a picture of him standing in front of a drawing I made and I had a little leaf laying next to it. And then I made a graphic with one of Buddha's sayings, uh, what whatever you think about you become 
this is a different Buddha than the Siddhartha Buddha, or Siddhartha, however you pronounce it. I, I know I, I can't pronounce these names right, so I, forgive me for slaughtering these words. I'm doing the best I can. Uh, but this this guy here is actually referred to as Budai, sometimes, Budai, instead of Buddha, Budai. So he's also called Puntai. Puntai, I think, P-U-N-T-A-I, something like that. Uh, but it basically, what they called him translated into cloth sack. So I just learned all this after my friend was like, you know, take a wiki page read of it, you know. And so I did, and I watched a couple, two, three videos on YouTube also and learned about him. So... Uh, I've had, like I say, I've, I've collected these little guys. I've got this, I think maybe two more this size, and then I got the a, a bigger one at home that I'll show you. I think I've, he's popped up in a couple of my videos in the past. Uh, Budai is one of the pronunciations. Puntai, maybe. I think I may be messing that one up really bad. But basically his name translated into cloth sack because he carried around this cloth sack with him everywhere he went. He's also always pictured as obese. He's fat. Fat little guy. And usually bald. Okay? So you, he's got his, his cloth sack here and his name, they just called him cloth sack, basically. Uh, Budai, Puntai, something like that. But he was a monk that lived about a thousand years ago. A Zen monk. And he would travel around, and in his little bag, he would have uh, candy and goodies and toys and things, just different things that he would give to children. And uh, there's also there's stories of him um, giving money to people who needed money and food for people who needed food, all out of his bag. You know, he always just seemed to have what everybody needed in his bag. He's considered to be good luck. That's why I kind of carry him around with me. Uh, bring good fortune. He's got a begging bowl. So, you know, I mean, he was a Zen Buddhist and probably went around and just ate what people gave him. But apparently people gave him quite a bit and he enjoyed it. But he might have also been... And I don't know this for sure, but he might have also had like his own money somehow and was one of his things, one of the philosophies, I think, that he had is that um, material uh, wealth, I guess, can relieve suffering. I don't think he meant that it could relieve all suffering, but that it can relieve some suffering. So material wealth. And I agree with that, really, that philosophy. Uh, and I, I would agree with it to a certain extent. Um, and I'll give you an example. Like, we've had our rent where we live is extremely high. Our uh, cell phone bill is extremely high, so we've we've been kind of living on the on the edge financially. My my family and I. Now, if we were bringing in enough money so that all of our needs were met and we didn't have to worry about you know how we're going to pay this bill or that bill or you know how we're going fix our car if something breaks down, different things like that. If we didn't have to worry about those kind of things, that would be, uh, that would relieve, be a relief of some suffering that we currently experience. And I'm not complaining or anything, don't get me wrong. Just saying that if we had more money coming in up to a certain point where all those things were taken care of, that would absolutely relieve some suffering. I agree with that. Now, much beyond that, when you've got more than what you need, and I, I, I don't think Harley Davidson, Harley Davidson shirt, pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, much beyond those basic needs being met, I don't 
think uh, financial or material wealth would make that big of a difference in the amount of suffering a person uh, has. Simply because after those needs are met, um, then you're still going to have suffering in your life. Uh, look at the richest people in the world, and you know some of the. They still lived regular lives like regular people, even though they had a lot of their needs met. They still had issues and problems that they dealt with, you know. And that, I think that's part of life is just those things we got to deal with. Suffering, there is suffering. That's the first noble truth of Buddhism: is that there is suffering. Suffering exists. That's the first noble truth. So, yeah, uh, just looking at this guy a little bit made me, I think, respect him more. It made me feel like I've always kind of felt kind of attuned to him a little bit because he's a big guy, right? And I've struggled with weight all my life, so I can, I can relate to this dude. Uh, but now that I hear about him, you know, it, it, he his goal was to everywhere he went and with everyone that he came in contact with he wanted to spread happiness and so that's why he's he's often called the the happy buddha or the laughing buddha um uh, what's some other ones the, the i guess fat buddha <laughs> but yeah he's also uh this his the image of him is used in um, feng shui somehow. I'm not sure how. I don't know a whole lot about feng shui. I know my wife kind of got into it a little bit and moved things around the house in different locations because it was supposed to be better vibration in this area or that area. You know, different things. Pretty cool stuff, I thought. But I don't understand how Budai or Puntai or cloth sack. A little cloth sack, I guess, is the easiest one for me to remember. <laughs> I don't know how he comes into play, but the images of him uh, are used in feng shui somehow, too. Uh, now, the other Buddha that you see is the skinny Buddha, right? That Buddha is Siddhartha. Uh, Gadawa? Maybe another name for him, Gadawa? Siddhartha, the Buddha. That's the one that where you actually, I think, get the quotes from. Um, so when I put that quote with this image, I may have actually been misquoting or misrepresenting, I guess, because that might not have been something Buddhai said. Um, anyway. This uh, Budai cloth sack, as I said before, he, he's, often he's pictured with children around him because he he would always stop and talk to children and play and and uh, play games with them and give them candy and things like that, you know, uh, which is sad because it, it's, it's all nice things. But if you think about that in our context today uh, of our social world, some big dude with his belly hanging out walking around with a cloth sack handing candy and toys out to kids and playing with them and stuff, what would we do about somebody like that, you know? Uh, we'd lock him up, wouldn't we? We'd think he was some kind of weirdo, right? More than likely, or that he was, you know, something was wrong with him. But this guy, his main purpose in life was just to make people happy wherever he went. And uh, there are some miracles attributed to him, like things showing up in his sack just in the, the exactly somebody needed, you know. Um, so he's always got that cloth sack with him. Sometimes he carries a, a wand around that um, is used to grant wishes, apparently. So, yeah, very good lucky kind of uh, little Buddhist figurine there that you see a lot of, you know. And I didn't realize there was those two differences. So you got the Siddhartha ones, which are that Siddhartha is the Buddha, and uh, and he's the one who was enlightened underneath the lotus tree and all that, you know. When the book is written about, which is by the way a really great book, I listen to it pretty often. I've got it on Audible, 
Uh, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Get this book on Audible. It's really awesome. Um, it's only like five hours long, something like that. It's not a very long listen. You know, you could listen to it in a day uh, real easy. All right. Uh, so a couple more things about Budai or cloth sack. Uh, I've, I've talked about his his miracles a little bit. I don't know all the stories. All I've heard is just a few from uh, from what I've researched here in the last 24 hours. So I'm I'm still new to understanding this whole thing, even that he's a different person. I, in my mind, and this it it really doesn't surprise me that it's not Sid Arthur. I just didn't know that it wasn't Sid Arthur. So you know, Jason turned me on to the to the fact that it wasn't. I'm like, okay, so I'll look at it. And, you know, I think it's important for us to try the simple. If I'd have had a real closed mind, been like, no, no, that's that's the regular movie. No, no, no. I might not have believed him. I might not have went and looked it up. And I'd have, been, I'd have lived in ignorance, right? I don't think we're supposed to do that. I think we're supposed to be open enough to be able to, uh, you know, check things out that go against what we thought or what maybe what we believed you know you gotta be able to look at different points of view and stuff I think it's important in life it is a beautiful day one last thing I wanted to say about Budai or cloth sack is this little story that I heard a couple on a couple different videos about how he died when he was dying, he instructed his fellow, he was a monk, right? And uh, he was known to be eccentric. So he instructed his fellow monks to burn his body when he died. And uh, even though it wasn't a Buddhist tradition to cremate a body, they agreed to do it because he wanted it done. So as they lit the, the body on fire, fireworks started going off firecrackers and so Budai had uh Klossack had stuffed firecrackers all in his clothes right before he died as one last joke kind of thing you know so he you know he just wanted to make people happy he wanted to spread happiness and if we could just do that i mean think about it you know he's carrying around this cloth sack and he's giving people things. Now, when I was doing Uber and Lyft, one of my biggest, most popular things that I did quite a bit of the time was uh, I would keep little bags of candy in the car. And everybody that got in, I'd offer them a piece of candy. And some of them, boy, that just made their day, you know, especially if I had a kind of candy that they really like, you know. So I'd keep different kinds and stuff. Really, you know just uh, give people what they need you know spread happiness wherever you can you may not have a magical sack like cloth sack hat but you know maybe you can get a sack and put some things in it that you know people are gonna want and need you know uh -huh. I tell you a good uh, sack full of bottled water would be good to have through the hot weather wouldn't it just carry that around, hand people bottles of water. Get an insulated sack. <laughs> I may do that. That'd be fun. So yeah, um, the fat Buddha, the laughing Buddha, um, that is Budai. Cloth sack. The skinny Buddha is Siddhartha. Uh, Gautawa. And uh, two different, two different Buddhas. But the thing is, just as Christ is a title for Jesus, Buddha really is a title for someone who is enlightened. Um, that's what it means, enlightened one. So Siddhartha was Buddha because he was the enlightened one. He was the the enlightened one, the Buddha. All right. That's it for today, I think, you guys. And uh, I do appreciate you watching.
and uh, riding around with me up here in Clarksville. And be sure to check out my other videos. Leave a thumbs up, subscribe, comment. I'd love to hear from you. All right, laters.